Are your kids driving you a little crazy? They've been cramped up in the house a little too long and you need to get out and let them run their energy out and go try something new. I feel you. My kids are like that all the time too. And you know what? The best thing that I've found to do is either kick them outside and have them go run around or load them in the car and bring them to one of the fantastic playground parks that the Twin Cities has to offer. So today I'm going to walk through the top 10 in no particular order parks and playgrounds in the Twin Cities that I really think you should check out and have your kids experience and have your kids try. Hey, this is Matt Adelman and welcome to your guide to living in the Twin Cities where we talk all things Twin Cities related, where to eat, where to live, what to do, what makes the Twin Cities, in my opinion, the greatest place to live in the country. And today I'm talking about the top 10 parks and playgrounds that we really love to go to as a family. Uh, these are all very, very kid friendly, family friendly, friendly areas. Um, and as a bonus, these are all areas for the most part that are going to be open year round. So this isn't just a wow, the summertime's here and it's 100 degrees out. Let's go to a park and have fun. No, it could be zero degrees out and snowing outside. Load the kids up, make them go run around and play. Put an extra hat on them. It'll be just fine. Uh, these these are great places to go no matter the time of the year. Get out of the house, go have some fun. So let's jump into it. Here are the top 10 parks and playgrounds in the Twin Cities. So number 10 on the list is a really, I, I mean, to call this a park is an understatement. This thing is massive. Uh, it's pretty new and updated and modern, uh, and it's Shoreview's new Commons Playground Park and Pavilion. So we're talking gigantic, taking parks and playgrounds to the extreme. If you're looking for nature type treehouse feel and vibe, they got that. If you're looking for an obstacle course, ninja type stuff, they got that. If you're looking for a place for younger kids to go that's kind of bouncy and safer and smaller, yep, they got that too. Skate parks, barbecue pits, bandstand shelter areas. I mean, this place is, is massive and it's got something for everyone. So Shoreview Common Park or Shoreview Commons in uh, the city of Shoreview is uh, number 10 on the list for parks and playgrounds that you got to check out with the kids. Number nine on the list is in Bloomington, Minnesota. This is Highland Park part of the Highland Park Reserve. And this this one's near and dear to me. I grew up as a kid going to Highland Park. Uh, it's, sometimes it's called Shoots and Ladders. That's what we called it when we were kids because it had a slide. Remember on Shoots and Ladders, the board game, if you got all the way to the top, there was one slide that went from 80 down to 16 or something like that. Shoots and Ladders or, or Highland Park in Bloomington used to have a slide that it was all metal. You would walk, it felt like forever, and you would just fly down this thing. And it was like, the highlight of my summer when we got to go to Shoots and Ladders. And and it's still, it is a really cool, fun park for the kids. Uh, it's been very renovated and changed since when I used to go there, but it is a fantastic place. Lots of uh, playground amenities and things for the kids to go play on. What I really love about Highland though is more for the parents because Highland Park itself is a, a huge nature preserve and it's full of tons of paths and trails uh, and lots of nature. So if you're into running and biking and, and exploring nature, this place is great for that. Um, if your kids are a little older and you could drop them off at the park and go do your thing, I, go for it. I used to train running there a lot. They have a lot of good hills and like nature hill cross country type stuff. Um, and it's, it, it's a great place to go. So Highland Park, number nine on the list. Number eight on the list is there's a couple parks I'm going to lump in here. Uh, eight, number eight, number seven together because they're both in Maple Grove. And going off the theme of giant park reserve areas is Elm Creek Park. Elm Creek in Maple Grove is there's a playground. There's a sand pit pool thing. It's a huge sand beach that gets filled up with water in the summer and the kids can go swim. In the winter time, you've got tubing, you've got cross country ski trails. You've got this ski park jump hill area uh, at Elm Creek. And then there's a huge playground for the kids in the summertime. Again, if you're into training and running and, and you want to get out to nature, this is a really good place if you're in the northwestern suburbs to go run and train and just have fun and connect with nature again. The park itself is is massive. The kids playground is, is great for the kids. Um, and like I said, there's there's so many other things to do as well, uh, depending on the age of your kids and the type of stuff that they're into. And number seven, that is very close to Elm Creek, is Central Park. Central Park is um, in kind of the heart of, of Maple Grove. It's near the Arbor Lakes area. 
Central Park is more of your just traditional playground. It is a massive playground for the kids. Um, there are paths and walking trails and that sort of stuff too, but there's pickleball courts now and basketball courts. There's some tennis courts. Um, again, depending on the ages of your kids or depending on what you're looking for, this is a really great place to, to go and do all sorts of different stuff. In the winter time, the really, really cool thing about Central Park is they have a outdoor ice skating rink, but it's, it's got pipes and, and it's uh, cooled. So it can get a little warm and sunny um, and they cool the pipes keep the rink cold. And in the heart of winter, it stays cold anyways, but they have a Zamboni that'll go and clear off the ice too. And every hour or so uh, they resurface the ice and make it really nice and fun for the kids. Uh, huge warming house. And so Central Park is summertime, go take advantage of the park. Uh, winter time, go take advantage of the park and and uh, ice skating as well. And you know, you're so close to all the shops and restaurants and everything else that if you want to go grab a snack afterwards or grab a beer or whatever, you can walk there or hop in your car and, and drive a minute or two. So Central Park, Elm Creek Park, those are two really fun places in Maple Grove. Number six on the list, shifting gears back into Minneapolis is Wabun Park. This is um, right by Minnehaha Falls. And this park is awesome for all ages of kids. If you want to get wet and enjoy splash pads and and swimming and that sort of stuff, uh, they got it. If you want to just go play in a park and just climb and play and be crazy, they got that too. Now, the thing about Wabam Park that I like, I mean, I mean, I bring the kids to the park too, but I love going to Minnehaha Falls. You're you're pretty close to the falls itself, so you can go play in the park. And then, you know, if your kids are younger and they don't want to walk, load them up in a stroller and go check out the falls. If you've never been. Minnehaha Falls is super cool. Uh, my wife had never been. She's grown up in Minnesota her whole life and had never been to the falls until a few years ago. And I brought her in the winter time and it's super cool in the winter because the falls, typically they're running. So, you know, running water, it freezes, but the falls itself usually keeps going until it gets really cold, like really, really cold. And then they freeze and you've got this huge overflow of frozen water coming down and you're not supposed to do this. I'm not saying do it, but if you happen to find a way to get behind the falls, picture opportunities and just it's kind of cool to explore back there. If it's super icy, don't do it. Be careful. It gets super slippery and the city will shut down a lot of trails there in the winter because of the ice. But it's awesome. Go check out the falls. You can kind of walk Minnehaha Creek all the way down. It dumps into the Mississippi. It's a really fun place to bring the kids. The restaurant over there is amazing. And so you got a park, you got falls, you got trails. Again, you got all sorts of really fun stuff for the family to go do and entertain and have fun together. So. Wabam Park. Number five on the list is the Carver Lake Bike Park. This one is is a little different than the other ones I've mentioned because this is a BMX bike area. So if you've got kids that are really into BMX and biking, there are lots of other parks throughout the Twin Cities that really cater and focus on that one. But the Carver Lake one is super fun. Uh, a lot of my neighbors go there and it's fantastic. If middle aged kids and again, like I said, if they're getting into BMX and they want to do tricks and bike and trails and that sort of stuff, this place is awesome. Um, there are other BMX parks in the northwestern suburbs, and then you'll find them throughout the entire Twin Cities, but it's becoming a bigger thing. When I was growing up, you had to go out into the country more to get into BMX like uh, motorbike type courses, but now there's parks popping up to do dirt bike riding and dirt bike courses. Uh, so this whole BMX biking scene, trail riding scene is really blown up in the last 20 years, and Carver Lake Bike Park is, is one of the best to check out. Number four on the list is a, a park in Golden Valley called Schaefer Park. What's super cool about this one is this is gonna be geared a little more for the older kids. So if you've got kids 10, 15 years old, even me, I like to go there. and We'll bring the kids in, go do their part. I like to go play on the ninja stuff because this is kind of like a ninja agility training type park. So if you wanna run and do the obstacle courses and climb ropes and they've got these jumpy pad things, you gotta hop all over the place, AstroTurf lawn all over the place. Uh, you can practice your 40 yard dashes and, you know, it's got like this football field type hash mark course where you can run around. They've got a, a loop where you can run and, and it's timed and, and do time trials and try it all out. So like, if you really want to get the energy out and you, the kids really need to get moving and, and do something fun, Schaefer Park is a really cool place to go and um, just let them go out, go play, go jump, go climb, go Go become a ninja. Go connect with your inner ninja. Number three on the list is Madison's Playground. Madison's Place Playground in Woodbury, Minnesota. Now this this park, again, it's a park for all ages. 
Uh, there is going to be a ton of things to do, but what's super unique and special about this park is that it was designed through the Madison Clare Foundation, which their thing is inclusivity for everybody, all walks of life, all kids, spectrum, non-spectrum, special needs, not special needs, anything and everything. They want this park to be a place that everyone can go and enjoy. And so, so much fun for the family, so many different things to do, playgrounds and barbecue stuff and paths and trails and, and just a really inclusive, super family friendly fun place to check out and try over in Woodbury, Minnesota. Number two on the list is again, this one's going to cater more to all ages um, because this part of Minneapolis is in the summertime. It's incredibly busy. It is very well known for its trails and for people to just go run and jog and bike and sand volleyball pits and that sort of stuff. But the park itself and the playground is really fun too. And that's Lake Harriet Park on Lake Harriet, which is connected to a few other lakes in kind of the uptown portion of Minneapolis. If you are, you know, if you want to go fishing, if you want to go sailing or kayaking, take advantage of the beaches um, and that sort of stuff, this park is perfect for that. If you want to just go to the playground and have the kids go play, Lake Harriet is awesome for that. When I was a kid, again, Lake Harriet was a place that we used to go very often when I was learning how to rollerblade because it, the paths were very, very paved and very smooth, and it connected to three different lakes. And so we could go, I don't know, something like 12 miles of really smooth paved pathways where I learned how to rollerblade. And so Lake Harriet was always, you know, super popular for that. When I was a kid in high school, we would go to Lake Harriet all the time just to drive the lakes and see what was going on. And so this is more for the kids, but all ages really will go to Lake Harriet to what used to be Lake Calhoun. Now it's, I'm going to butcher the name. We'll call it the formerly known as Lake Calhoun. Lake of the Isles feeds into Uptown Lake. You're right by the heart of so many different things to do. So bring the kids to Lake Harriet Park, go check out Uptown, go to an ice cream shop, go, go grab lunch lunch somewhere at one of the really fun restaurants over there. And, you know, in this in the winter, the summertime, depending on, you know, the time the, of the year, Lake Harriet has a big band shell and they'll do concerts and lots of different events and that sort of stuff. So check out the calendar and see, you know, if anything's coming up that looks interesting for you and, and check it out. It's it's a really fun place to bring you bring your significant other have dates down there, bring the kids and go play and, and have fun. Number one on my list. Again, I'm going to combine two parks here because they're they're super close to each other. And it's in, it's incredible to me how big these two parks are, how close they are, uh, and how renovated they've been in the last couple of years. And that's French Park and Medicine Lake Park. French Park and Medicine Lake, I mean, you, you could spend all summer at these two. The parks are gigantic. Uh, there's so much to do for the kids. So many paths, beaches. I mean, you name it, you can do it there. We bring our kids. We, I mean, we live pretty close to these two parks, so we go there all the time. The kids have so much fun. All ages will will just, you know, you could be there for hours, literally hours and hours and hours, and the kids will never get tired and never get bored of it. So French Park, uh, which is part of the French Park, medicine, like Northern Medicine Lake area, and then Medicine Lake or East Medicine Lake, which is really renovated and, and kind of brand new, uh, is so much fun. I promise if you bring your kids to those two, plan on spending at least a couple hours, bring lunch, bring snacks, because they're going to be there a long, long time. So. There you go. There's the the list of, of 10 of my favorite. Well, I guess it's technically 11 of my favorite parks and playgrounds to bring the kids uh, for me to go and have fun too. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.